Looking for a big house in Maine? This one's got a quick occupancy. This one has a big lot. And you don't need a car to access everything friendly small town Holton, Maine offers. Hello, I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. You and I are on a little mission. 10 Keller and Street. This time a home. It's in town. It's less than a block walk from everything that Holton, Maine offers. You can trot right down to Market Square's Farmer's Market or get a donut at Sadie's Bakery. You are not far from McGill's Band that plays every Thursday night in the summer. So stay tuned. This is a Victorian that's been totally renovated with hickory cabinets and a lot of other features. It would be ideal for a multi-generational use. We're almost there. We're going through Market Square and i got to pay attention to what I'm doing here, don't I? Unless I want to get T-boned. This is Cary Library. Right behind Cary Library is where we have our McGill's Band plays. There's a big amphitheater that was built by Rotary. It gets a lot of other uses. Here's Kellerin Street. This used to be a lot busier neighborhood when Wicker College was here. We had fraternity houses, dormitories, all kinds of students, college students, that would be a big part of our local economy. Here we are at 10 Kellerin. This lot is almost 200 feet deep. This old house for sale in northern Maine is put together well. She's built. Hello, I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. This house built around 1910. The lot is almost 200 feet deep. You're close to the downtown. You're like half a block away. It's been totally redone. You have 13 rooms. You can have up to seven bedrooms. Who would this home be great for? Well, someone that wants a home business on the first level or has an elderly family member that doesn't want to climb stairs and wants their own master bath and that might have more than one generation under the same roof line. Brand new roof just painted, new windows. This kitchen is a hickory cabinet kitchen. And the stainless steel uh, refrigerator, the Frigidaire dishwasher, and stainless steel electric stove go with it. See the everyday dining room area? These are all laminate floors. Some the of deep them are farmer's kind of sink, microwave, and a almost six foot long butcher top block island. Are you looking for a house with quick occupancy? This one Wild is nice and new, kitchen, freshly and painted, the bullet and it's vacant. up in the ceilings. A lot of new sheetrocking down here. Off the kitchen is a half bath laundry, an entry back room, kind of an entry foyer, and you have a cement floor on your open Southern exposure deck. There's a and there's a balcony up all over around that porch. This would be your back mudroom and your laundry room right here. Hook up the washer here. The dryer goes next door there. Plus you have a built-in closet with shelves. That's the door to the basement. This would be your new half bath. Three and a half baths in this home. Parts of it need to be finished to be to the same level of livability as this main area. See how thick these walls are in the basement while we're in this neck of the woods? They're about two feet thick and then brand new concrete sections. Yeah, that was expensive. They did the nice crushed rock too. And here's more new foundation wall. It was done right. This is your outside entrance if you ever need to bring in something big. 
200 amp electric. A lot of the basement is the newer concrete. Most of that north wall was replaced with new windows that open up for ventilation. See the brick support pillars? Then there's more basement to the right. That's new concrete. Updated plumbing too. So it may be a 1910 home, but a lot of the inside has been updated just in the recent years. This is new cement too. Okay, back on the house tour. There's your half bath laundry, your rear mudroom, your kitchen that extends to the everyday dining area. There's a small, shorter size closet in this formal dining room. See the bay window? This could be a first floor apartment and you could make it into two more apartments. The front hall foyer for receiving guests or if you use this first floor as a business, here's your entry to the reception area. See the old staircase? There's a stained glass window we'll see in a minute too. Another bay window in this front parlor that became a first floor master bedroom with double closets. You have your own master bathroom, or this makes it one and a half baths on the first floor. More cabinets as you walk through into the bathroom. They're on both sides. See the subway tile? This is the nice laminate type floor too that's waterproof. That's your first floor. Four really big rooms. A front hall room, a rear mud room, and a bath and a half. Let's check out the second floor. You can shut off the door to the downstairs. Here's the door to the third floor level. On the second floor, the bathroom is the last door in the end of this little hall. Big bathroom, because it probably was a bedroom years ago back in 1910. This one has the old tub. Soak those tired muscles. Calgon, take me away. This could be a living room if it was an apartment or it's another big master type bedroom for this level or his and her master bedroom. Another bay window but more of a boxy one rather than the bow. Newly painted, neat clean, new windows. All kinds of sunshine pours into this big house in Maine in the afternoon hours. We mentioned Ricker College earlier, when Ricker College or Ricker Classical Institute was here for high school, for schools that didn't have it. You often had someone that boarded, that came into your home to help have room and board for working at, helping with meals, making beds, helping those big families get things done. You had a front door to get in, you've got a side door to get out. If you needed more room on this second level, you could reconfigure one of these 14 rooms in this old house in Maine. This probably was a summer kitchen for canning and preserving. It was wainscoted or it was a dining room. There's a stairway to the attic. This is a full three-story house. This over the shed over the garage area could be developed too or just use it for tremendous storage. More storage upstairs too. This would be on your east side of the home. So you have five rooms and that bath with the little original tub on this second floor. Let's go to the third level. Here's that stained glass I told you about. Your floor up here has been drilled and insulation put in, which helps with soundproofing or maybe you're not gonna heat or use this third level. But if you want another bedroom, or you had teenagers playing Metallica or Rage Against the Machine, this might be a better place for that activity. This 
is your third bathroom on the third floor if you decide to utilize this room, this area. This would have been your third floor or once it was a boarding home. When we sold it to a fellow from Hawaii, it was Rigby's boarding home at one time. But people, you and I don't live forever and the uses change. Different people at the addresses. See how they put new sections of the roof on when they stripped it and reshingled? They did it right with boards, not wafer board. This is darker than the inside of a cow, but it's more living area or just storage with a rear stairway. The Mary Kay back bedroom. Then you have your own separate stairway to make the insurance company happy. Thank you very much for staying to the very end. We appreciate it. Don't forget to look down below for the price for links on more information on this 1910 old house for sale in Northern Maine. We're here to help you get bank financing, to tell you about the community, anything you need. Reach out, let's connect. Don't forget to like the video, share the video. Maybe you know of someone that could use this much room. It wasn't that long ago that everybody needed a house this size because Grand and Grant lived with you, maybe both sets of mother and mother-in-law. I know you got to have space under one roof, but it was economical. The kids learned a lot more. You watch the Waltons, you know the drill. We'll see you next time on the Main Real Estate Channel. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not already a member. And if you are, thank you for your loyal support. See you next time.